Hello, my name is Tom DeZongChamp, and I'm going to walk you through how to keep graphic symbols in sync when you are animating them uh, in a timeline in Adobe Animate. Um, so for instance, this symbol here, if we go inside it by double clicking it, I have 10 keyframes that have the numbers one through 10. Very easy to follow what is inside here, 10 frames, the numbers on each frame. So we always know where we are. It always makes sense. It loops. How fun. Yes. Uh, let's go back to the main timeline and uh, note that when we have the symbol selected in the s properties panel in the looping category, we have our symbol set to loop. We have the first frame set to one because we're on frame one of the main timeline. Makes sense. All right, let's decorate the timeline with some keyframes. I'm pressing F6 to create a couple random keyframes here and there. Um, oh, I created two there, whatever. Um, so every time I create a keyframe, uh, let's say on this one, it's on frame five because we wrote the number. If I select it, it says frame five right here. So on this one, it's on frame four. Let's click it. Frame four is the first frame. So it remembers this. So if you move it, so let's say, let's take this, uh, let's take this one and let's say we want this keyframe here instead. Um, it still is on the same start frame, but if we go to the couple frames before it, uh, one, two, three, four, so the next one should be five. It goes to one because it's remembering where it was before. So we have to correct it by saying, well, let's go to five. So now if we go back here, it goes three, four, five. That's in sync, but now it's going to get out of sync here. Oh, wait, no. <laughs> four or five. We got lucky there. And now let's see, three, four. Okay, so everything's in sync now. Uh, but let's say we remove frames here. Let's remove those. Let's press F5 to add some frames here. Let's remove some frames here. Let's maybe move this here. Now let's see what we got. Um, so eight, nine, ten, and then it restarts. Then here it goes four, five, and then right here it goes four, five, and then here it goes eight. So the next one should be nine. No, it goes to four. Well, let's go to, uh, so it should be nine. So let's change it to nine right here. And then let's go to the next uh, change. So it goes from two to four, so we need this to be three instead. And then for this one, it's uh, six to seven, so this should be seven. And then the last but not least, eight to nine, so this should be nine. So we fixed that, that's great. It's all in sick now. If we played it, it, it counts properly the entire time. Um, so one trick, so it's easy because we have numbers here, but let's say, you know, if it was something um, more complicated, like, uh, um, let's, I'm going to guide this out here. Let's say we have, um, I'm just going to create a random animation really quick. So let's see. Just creating a silly animation. It doesn't matter what it is. So now, um, we have an animation that's uh, it's unclear what the proper sync would be. So let's make some keyframes like before. And uh, let's say, um, let's move it around and mess it up and stuff. It's... So now um, these spacings are gonna be off. Now we won't be able to tell visually because the animation is irrelevant. Um, but let's say, um, so um, a good trick. So this is a trick to find out what sync it should be. So let's say from here to here, I don't know if it's right or not. Well, I can find out by making a key temporary keyframe. So let's press F6 here and check what it's there. It says it's on six there. So the next frame should be seven. It's on three. So we found a, an issue here. So let's make it, um, so this is six. The next one should be seven, seven. All right, and now um, here we, w but we can um, erase that keyframe after we're done and then do the same thing here. So let's make a keyframe here, 
check it's on frame one here, so this one should be frame two. It's on three, so let's change it to two. And then I erase that temporary keyframe that I used to see what it was at here. Sorry, my Discord's on. Um, so let's say, let's check one more. Make a temporary keyframe here, check. It's on nine here, so the next one should be 10. It's on three, so let's change it to 10 and clear this keyframe. That's an easy way to check whether it's in sync or not. Um, so if we go back and change this back to numbers, and um, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. You know, these are six, seven, eight, you know, uh, one, two, three. So this is a way to keep your uh, graphic symbols in sync in a timeline. Because oftentimes you make an animation, you make some keyframes, but then you end up moving them around a little bit. And then your, in, uh, your embedded animation inside the symbol gets all whacked whacked out and out of sync so that's how you do it did you like it i hope you did i'm tom nice to meet you bye